What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Diablo 2 Resurrected here on the Xbox One. So guys, if you remember in the last episode, we started up after of course the beta and we had beaten the first two missions on the beta. So we went to Stony Fields and found the Scroll of Inifis and then we also got the Forgotten Tower mission. So guys, we're back in town. Uh, I rebought Devo, so we have our mercenary with us. So right now we're turning this mission into Akara. Yeah, shut up. Uh, all right. So we got to go over here, and basically it just told us go back to. Did it tell us to go to the Stony Field? Uh, touch the stones, you order. Yeah, Stony Field. And touch the stones. So. Uh, if I sound different in this video, guys, that is because I actually have a new office set up. So I don't know how it's going to sound to you guys. So, you know, if you guys are still listening here after the one minute introduction, uh, go ahead and tell me. So that way I know to, like, adjust. Uh, let's see here. Cast my skeletons. Cast my goal. Oh, where's my golem? Uh, golem's right trigger. Okay, cool. Now we're rolling. So... Cool thing about this game is when you save and come back, everything die or everything respawns. <laughs> uh, so uh, you might have seen us fight through this, of course. But oh my gosh, I keep getting all these named enemies. But uh, it's a good chance to level up and earn some experience. So these dark rangers, I swear, are like the bane of our existence. I'm gonna go ahead and actually grab that. Okay, cool. So we're doing okay so far. These guys are holding their own. Uh, I believe the stones were up here. Oh, there's another moon clan over there. I didn't see him. I like those little moon clan guys. They kind of look like goats or uh, what? Are, what's the half man, half goat thing? Or yeah, half half man, half uh, really already? Oh wow. Yeah, I guess you are, buddy. Um, I'm out of those figures. Can I even? Oh, I can. I can fit that. If we go like this. Classics. Got a... I'm actually going to use that one. I think we're kind of low on health. I don't really know. And that actually gives me exactly enough room uh, to pick this up. Is it any good? Nine. Twenty-one. <laughs> no. Alright. But so far, I mean, these enemies here are not too tough yet. Um, I'm not going to complain so far. But let's go ahead here and touch the Cairn Stones. I hope they're up here. I thought they were. Yeah, here they are. Oh, yeah, that's right. we got to face all these guys. Of course, it looks like there's a named one there. Can I hit anybody? I like how they just scatter. All right, there we go. Oh, short sword. Can't pick that up. Rakanishu. Cool. There is a yellow spike club. I kind of want that. Right, there we go. I'm just going to start casting out my teeth here. Help everybody take care of all these enemies. Whew. So, I saw a lot of you guys ended up watching episode one. A uh, pretty decent amount. Well, episode two, technically. Alright, I gotta go to town because we have way too much stuff. I'll go ahead and finish up these enemies and then... Oh my gosh, they just keep going! Well, definitely going to hit level 99, I guess. There's a treasure chest over here. Can I kill him? Thank you. Ooh, a chipped amethyst. Okay, we're going to town. Then we're going to come back, pick up all that stuff, and then we'll hit the Cairn Stones. But wow. That was a lot of items very quickly. I should see, actually... Do I have any bows? No. Well, let's give my mercenary this armor here. I should have actually done this before we came back. So that'll raise her defense. Ooh. Had to get me a little bit of water in there, guys. Sorry. But that'll raise her defense a little bit. Help her out. You know, always take care of your mercenary. Just kind of give them the stuff that you're not quite using. <laughs> uh, sell that. Sell that. Sell that. <clears throat> my allergies are kicking my butt today, guys. I tell you what. 
All right, so let's go ahead here and then we'll uh, identify the, wow. Really, wow. I mean, if this wasn't so much better, I'm gonna have to sell this. And we'll sell that, of course. You know, we never keep those. I'm gonna sell some of these because we have a ton of them. Once we use this scroll of Inifis, I'm pretty sure it goes away. All oh, those are good. Okay. If we find a bow out there, we'll give it to uh, Devo. So then that way she can do like even more damage. Because right now she's just doing like her base damage. So we're traveling back here to pick up a bunch of items. Oh gosh. I'll take that and that. 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 Ooh, gold. Oh, it really wasn't even worth it. Oh my gosh. Well, one thing you can say is, unlike, uh, you know, common day RPGs, they definitely do not... Okay, we're already packed out. I'm going to give her this. Uh, let's see here. Uh, mercenary. Yeah. Oh, come on. You could use it if you wanted to. Alright, what is this? A skull cap? That's a 2x2. Two two. Um, let's see if the spike club is any good. Actually, yeah. So it does 7 to 10. So we're going to go ahead and swap that out. Yeah, okay. Oh, man. Really don't want to start dropping potions. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five. Oh, boy. Ooh. Alright, it's updating our quest. Ooh, Deckard Kane. The meme of Diablo 2. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw that meme. That's an old one, but... Oh, yeah, this is the Seeker Cow level. Wow, oh, I'm like full full. Alright, if I remember correctly from 20 years ago, Dicker Kane is somewhere in the center of town. Ooh, not a good camera angle. But yeah, he's right there. Champion Knight. Oh, yeah, that's right. These guys are rough. So far, they're okay, though. Actually, I was going to go ahead and take that. Oh, my gosh. I can't physically see. There's so much stuff on the ground. What am I... What are we hitting here? Oh, there's skeletons over here. Oh, gosh. I realize my health was so low. Oh, and we leveled up. Nice. Alright, this should be Decker Kane. You... Alright, okay. So we leveled up, and I'm pretty sure we... Okay, so we gotta go back to the rogue encampment, and then this one is... Yeah. Alright, so let's level up here real quick. Um, let's go ahead and put one in there. Um, yeah, let's go like that, we'll go like that, and then we'll go like that. And then, of course, we have another skill here. I need to be level 12, so we can't quite do that. Um, all right, we'll do Skeleton Mastery then. Run around here, pick up the money, because, I mean, why not? And then we'll go back and ooh, go back to town and turn this mission in and then I guess we'll go look for the forgotten tower. Okay, come on. Start hitting things. Oh my gosh, tons of enemies. Oh yeah, that's right. He brings them back. Why do you keep missing? I don't remember ever missing that much. Right. Uh, oh, I don't know any skeletons. That's why. Skeleton 1, Skeleton 2. 
There has to be a shaman, yeah, I was gonna say. Gotta love the fact that the camera doesn't turn with you. Ooh, we got another town portal scroll, which is good. Come on. Now, back in the day, when we used to, oh gosh, really low in health. I gotta start remember to pay attention to my health. Eat teeth. Okay, cool. Now, like, back in the day, what I would do is, like, I'd actually just go walk through all this back to town. But since, you know, this is YouTube and everybody has a six-second attention span anymore, uh, I'm just going to actually go back to town. I just want to earn these, like, little bit of experience points because I figure, you know, why not? It's one of those things in the long run. We are passing up a lot of items to sell, but, I mean, it is what it is. I'm pretty sure that's it. Don't I actually have a stamina potion? Yes, I do. Alright, now we can kind of infinite sprint. I would say we're making pretty decent experience through here. These teeth are pretty good. Ooh, Wart's body. Yes, Wart's leg. I believe this has something to do with the cow level. The secret level. So I definitely need to pick this up. We need, okay, I definitely need two of those. So we can go ahead and go like that. We can go like this. Alright, so that frees up some space there. I'm just going to use these. Alright, this is where it gets... Okay, so I think that's a three tall item. Uh, if we drop this. Okay. Wurt's leg. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we need this for later. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of this bow. What? I hit drop. Oh, that's because you have to hit X. Alright, cool. Um, I'm going to pick up this town portal so I don't have to buy one again. And then I guess we'll just run around here and... Get a little bit more experience points. Hopefully use some health potions, like... I'm actually excited to use Griswold. There he is. There's the name done to me. Alright, I'm going to take care of these guys because these are the ones that kind of like mess you up. Okay, so they're all dead. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of these guys. As you can see, there's another one back here. Alright. Alright, we're good. Die, Griswold. Cap, Buckler, and Schmitar. Alright. Alright, cool. I think that takes care of the town of Tristram. Now we'll have to go meet Decker Kane. Alright, cool. Let me just pop out through here. And now let's run back to town again. I'll go here. Loading screen after loading screen after loading screen. <laughs> and there's Decker. Alright. Alright, so basically, Deckard says, hey, I'll identify stuff for free. And also he tells you basically the backstory to Diablo 1. So if you guys haven't played Diablo 1, there you go. Alright, cool. Well, let's go ahead and sell you this stuff. So, after Deckard says he'll identify stuff for free, I just, I get rid of this. Because it just takes up space in my inventory. I'm also going to get rid of this. I mean, it is a pretty decent one, but... Uh, Dark of Blight. Alright, what's this? Ring of Remedy. Well, I mean, we can afford a second ring, so... It's not like it's a useful ring, but... I, uh, I forget exactly where Wart's Leg goes. I'm actually going to toss one of these in here. Alright, so that should be good. And then we'll go check our quest log. Okay. So, we need to look for the tower in the Black Marsh beyond Dark Wood. Cool. 
So that basically takes care of mission number three. So on to mission number four. All right, we came in from that way, if I remember. Wow. But we have a little bit more inventory space now, because like I said, I don't like, I only keep that identification book in the early, early stages. And that's just before you get Deckard. And then once you get Deckard, there's really no point because you could go back to town so often anyhow because your inventory is so small. So to me, it just makes sense to not really, not really worry about it. Um, pretty sure we have to go that way. I just want to check the portal here real quick. I believe, I believe we unlocked, didn't we unlock the Black Marsh or Stony Fields as far as we got? I can't quite remember. Oh, we did unlock Darkwood. Okay. So, we can skip going through that whole entire... Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is right where we left off. And then I travel back to town. Treehead Woodfist. Ooh, I heard a sapphire. Okay, give me that, that, that. What? Okay, cool. I'll just take everything. Why not? Alright, I still got my two skeletons. We're rolling. Now these are back to Lancers, which are way better because they can't attack you from super far away. There you go. And as you can see, my archer is using that, that bow that we got her. So she's doing a lot more damage. She was over here doing work before the rest of us even showed up. How are you already overburdened? All right. Well, we are getting the experience now, guys. I'll tell you what. All right. We were kind of just ripping through here. I better pay attention to my health. All right, take care of that guy. All right, rolling. Oh yeah. Now, like, if a scroll of identity is laying on the ground, oh, that's why this is a named enemy. Oh, I heard chip diamond. Nope, diamond. Let's see if I can take one of those. Okay, cool. Uh, now, like I said, if I do see a scroll of identity laying on the ground, I'll take it because why not? <laughs> um. I don't really think we have to go that way. I believe we have to go this way. Here's that tree. If you guys missed it in last episode, this is the tree of Inafis where we just got that scroll for the Cairn Scones. So there you go. That's what you're looking for. A giant tree. Whoa. Take that and that. Cool. Dead rogue. Okay. Two skull. Okay. So we are in the Black Marsh. Oh gosh. Fanatic returned. Oh my gosh, everything died. <laughs> I'm not trying to be overburdened right now. Oh gosh, there's so much stuff here. This this is ridiculous. I kind of want to check out this leather armor, so... Okay. Okay, that's not that good. Okay, so we got that chip diamond. I definitely want that. What is this thing? What is it? Hard leather armor. It's a three by... So we can drop that. Let's drop, let's drop that, that. Oh, I need that. Okay, wait a second. Hold on. I need my... Tome of Town Portal. There we go. Okay. Uh, drop that key. Drop that key. Obviously, I want to keep all of these. We'll drop this key also. And then... There it is. Okay. Bet you it's not identified. Of course it isn't. But it is... It's already better in our current armor, so... That is a ton of potions. There's no more. Okay. Let's see if we can find the portal here. Because there is actually an achievement to find all of them too. So, something I like to do is just find the portal very quickly right off the bat. Okay. And then that, of course, means you don't have to use a scroll of town portal. I mean, we could if we really wanted to, like, go do... I'm not trying to pick that up. We could, of course, if we want to, just use a scroll of town portal. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, uh, I bet you can, because I'm going to drop that, and then pick that up, and then I just want to identify this armor, see if it's better. Okay, so, it is, but it isn't. So, this, the, you know, the extra stuff is what actually makes it better. Eagle orb, okay, that's a, yeah, like a wand. Oh, yeah, bloodhawk nest. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Alright, can I... No. I was like, why is this thing going down so slow? And then I'm like, oh yeah. 
my guy is just wandering around over there. Ooh, gold. <laughs> we definitely need money. Alright, that's just the wall there. Okay, cool. So, we're doing alright here. Uh, what do we got? We got about 10 minutes left in this episode, so let's see if we can go ahead and... Oh, yeah. Ooh. I really gotta remember to go put my money in the bank. Okay, we're doing okay. Alright, so they're all dead. Okay. These teeth are pretty powerful. I think next time we level up, I'm actually gonna put some more power into teeth. Okay. Wasn't actually that much stuff here. Oh, but here is the Tom Portal, so this actually worked out. So, let's go ahead and run back. Let's sell our stuff, free up some inventory space. There's nothing wrong with that. Plus, we'll also get some stamina back. So, as you can see, it kind of all comes back. So, it works out. We'll just run over here to Okara, of course, and then she'll refill our stuff because she's just so nice. Uh, sell. Sell. Did I identify this? Yeah. Oh, $450. Sell that. And I believe, yeah, I never find any good ones. All right, let's uh, actually go toss our diamonds in our stash over here, and then we'll go back out there and go wreck some face. Okay, so move the private stash, move the private stash, and move the private stash. Now, all these chipped ones, you can actually combine into, like, a flawed amethyst, and then if you get three flawed amethysts, I believe you can combine it, too. So, even though the, uh, I don't think you can put stuff in socketed items yet, hold on to it. I mean, you have all that room in your stash. Of course, now my phone's going to go crazy because I'm filming a video, but uh, just hold on to it. And you'll, you'll, I mean, you might end up using it. You might not. I mean, I can't say if you will, but was that a chest? No. But it's better to hold on to it. And then that way, you know, you have it rather than like, you just have to keep grinding for it. All right. Let's start rocking some face here. All right, we are definitely steamrolling right now. Ooh, I got a hunter's bow. I wonder if that bow is any better than the one she has. All right. All right, so we got a ton of gold. I'm gonna take that key just in case. I'm gonna teeth those guys real quick. Uh, I heard an amethyst or something drop. Swear I heard it. Alright, we're kind of out here in no man's land right now. That's why I said I wish I remembered these. Oop, what's this? To the Forgotten Tower. Okay, so that's where we gotta go. So, I kind of got lucky just kind of wandering around here in the wilderness. Let's go ahead and grab the Armor Shrine. Come over here. Grab that. Our mana's almost back, yeah. Anything else, like, close by? Oh, there's some enemies. Take that chest. Why not? Take that portal. Oh, and we leveled up. So, actually, it was a good thing we did come over here. All right, so I just told you guys we were going to work on the bone one. Uh, so, it does receive bonuses from bone wall, bone spear, bone prison, and bone spirit. Was bone armor any of those? No. All right, what's this? Eh, poison dagger, poison explosion. We have this curse, but we never actually end up using it. Um, so if I take this one, I can raise another skeleton. Or if I take this one, I can still only raise one golem, but he does more damage. Oh, or we could just do this one. Uh, you know what? Let's raise actually one more skeleton because, you know, why not? Let's let's just keep putting stuff on screen. Um, go ahead, raise that, raise that, and then uh, strength. We'll put another point into. Why not? All right, cool. Let's go. Um, do I have any bodies so I can raise a skeleton? Okay, cool. So now I have three skeletons. So make everything a wee bit easier. So let's go down here to the Forgotten Tower. 
I don't think there's anything in this room. There is not. All right, let's go to the cellar. Now, just be careful when you guys are in these things because A, those are booby traps occasionally, and B, these tight corridors, as you can see, it doesn't load the next room. So uh, you can actually get in a lot of trouble here. All right, so that's where we got to go. Let's just go explore here, see if we can find anything. I still have some inventory room. Of course, it's unidentified. I knew I heard a ruby drop. Or I said a diamond, but close enough. But let's just see if we can, you know, slowly kill myself, I guess, by kicking all these barrels. Ooh, weapon rack. Uh, of course, I can't. Um, no enemies so far. Oh, there we go. Wow, I missed so much with this stupid thing. Um, all right, there we go. Let's go ahead and take that potion, Dark Archer. And yeah, it'll be nice because it'll get me some gold. Okay, I am not trying to pick up the wolf head, but if you want me to, I will. Actually, I don't even have room for it. Actually, is this shield better? 7-9 now. There's some gold over here. Why is there a, oh, Undefiled Grave. Yeah, see right there, you guys just saw how, like, that guy wasn't, like, loaded in. Alright, so basically, just a little, like, chance to get some goodies. And then, what was this? Come on, we... Oh, okay, so I already used it, but it was a life thing. I must have just missed it. Um, still got my three skeletons and my golem. Of course, we're passing up the superior Bardici. Now, let's go ahead and go down to cellar number two. All right, cool. So I think this one is actually bigger. All right. Devil can, of course. We've seen plenty of these. Yep, overburdened, of course. One of these, I bet you, was booby-trapped. Oh, wow. Well, decent amount of gold. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. I'm going to keep casting that spell that, uh, oh gosh. Alright. So, definitely getting swamped here by enemies. Alright, definitely need, uh... Oh, what's my, what's my golem? Why do I keep forgetting what my golem button is? Oh, that's why there was a named enemy out here. Alright, so, now she'll drop real quick. Okay. Wow. Take that too. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Qatar. That's for the assassin character, so I'm really not worried about. Ooh, superior leather gloves. What do I have? Rugged. Nah. Alright. I have a. Oh, wow. I have a bunch of potions we can fit up in here, so let's go ahead and do that. Free up some inventory space. Like I said, always keep it. Free. Uh, when there, I know I said I can't use it, but I can sell it. So, all right. Well, seller level three. <laughs> uh, wants me to check my quest log. Explore the cellar dungeons. Oh, take that. All right. Let's go ahead and move through these. Uh, where that identity? There it is. I just want to see if this is better. So that's seven, two to seven. Oh, I didn't give her a bow yet. Yeah. There we go. All right. So now, oh gosh, I hate these things. All right, there we go. That'll help. I don't know what I'm hitting. Okay. All right. Definitely, uh, almost died there. And we already have room for two more potions. Alright, let's go ahead. We'll drop that one. Because I want to pick this bow up. And, of course, it's unidentified. Why would it be identified? Oh, there's a dead body. There it is. Oh. Alright, so, as you can see, the enemies are oh, definitely getting harder. But, I have all these little guys running around, so. Cap. Alright, not too worried about that. Let's go ahead and continue walking through this maze of rooms. Alright, there we go. 
I actually might want to put more points into this uh, curse here. Because it's definitely seeming like it's worth it. And now we're at level 4. Let's keep on kicking the barrels here. There we go. I knew one was going to explode eventually. It's only a matter of time. Yeah. I'm actually fine with that because it actually gives me a reason to free up another inventory slot. <laughs> There's cellar level five. All right, there we go. Dispose of the evil countess. So if you guys are down here and you, of course, uh, want to pick up some experience points, you know, go ahead and just do all the floors and actually walk through them. All right. Oh, boy. You guys mean business, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm down to one skeleton, that's why. Alright, there we go. Go ahead and use some of that and some of that. Wow. We almost just died again. Like, we are definitely getting closer and closer to death. So, the enemies are definitely getting harder. Alright, then let's move this. Oh, nope. Wrong way. Okay. Take that. And then, give me that. Oh my gosh, give me that. Whole bunch of gold. I'll take it. Take that. Alright. Stamina potion, gold, another chest. Uh, of course I cannot carry anymore. Why would I be able to carry anymore? Alright, cool. Well, whatever. Alright, so we got a bunch of stuff. That's a good thing. I'll definitely take that. I think all these rooms are just little offshoot and treasure rooms. If I remember correctly, like I said, talking 20 years ago, so. But definitely can earn a lot of gold. Oh, yeah. And like I said, if you walk through all the floors, good chance to earn a lot of experience points. All right. Dagger, not really worth it. Tarj, buckler, chest. Stamina potion. Okay, cool. So, I might actually get lucky and level up again before we go face her. Alright. Cast that spell. Why didn't it count? What is this? Oh, wolf head. I, forget. I think the wolf head is for druid. I think it's like his specific armor, if I remember correctly. Oh, gosh. Ah, okay. There we go. Yeah, as you can tell, once you get that spell out there, I'm pretty sure that's who we have to get. Yep, there she is. And of course, there is all of this. But my golem is doing work, and she's down. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to run through the fire. You eat. Oh, my gosh. I physically cannot see on my screen. Okay, I need all this, so all this is going to go. Okay. Ruby. Okay. Um, let's get rid of this. Give me that. Okay, the trident, I think, is a 2x2. Two two. Yeah. I, what do these runes do? Okay, they're socketed items. So, you definitely want to start to pick those up. I bet you this trident is unidentified, of course. Why would it be? What is a chip skull? Um, get rid of that. Okay. Is that another socketed thing? I believe it is. Yeah. Okay, cool. Whole bunch of gold. Go, 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 go. Um, okay, give me that. I'm not going to take the spear because we don't have room. Let's go over here. A little bit more gold. Pretty sure all enemies should be dead. Alright, let's see here. Okay. Quest completed. Cool. So, let's go back to town. Because I forget what we have to do next. <laughs> Pretty sure we have to go talk to somebody somewhere. But we also have a... Uh, I'm going to give you a second there, Deckard. Oh my gosh, got to talk to everybody. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Um, of course. Well, I had to talk to Deckard anyways, so we'll sell that. Okay, cool. Oh, I have that shield I can sell too. Yeah. 
Let's go ahead and sell that. I'm gonna go talk to Kasha. I'll talk do that real quick. Alright. Okay. Alright. So he went ahead and he identified everything for us, so... Yeah, I mean, we can't use any of them, but... Go ahead and toss that in there. Assassin only. Wow, that was actually a really good trident. 9 to 19. What's my strength at right now? Uh, ooh. We need like 10 more in strength just to be able to use this, but that would be, that'd be a huge increase. So let's go ahead and toss that in there and I'll go sell these two. Actually, there's a chipped ruby too. I forgot about that. Okay. So our private stash is definitely filling up and you will fill it up quickly. Hold the cell, hold the cell. And, okay, cool. So does anybody have any missions here? Because I don't know where I gotta go. Talk. Wow, you are useless. Okay, cool. Thank you for being worthless. Or if. Uh, okay, well, that was a waste of time. Let's see what Charcy has to say. Oh, Charcy has something. The Herogic Malice, yes. Alright, um... Do I need to repair anything? Okay. Any good bows? No. Okay, cool. So... Alright, so, uh, yeah. Next episode, we're going to start off by looking for... Jeez. That's right, I forgot all of his stuff is, like, ridiculous. Alright, I'm not too worried about it. But next episode, guys, we are going to start off looking for the Herodric Malice. And if I remember correctly, this is kind of where the game starts to, like, get out of, like, tutorial mode and actually start to be quote-unquote fun so i guess we'll go ahead and travel out to the black marsh because i'm pretty sure it's off of the black marsh where we got to go but hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if you did make sure you guys hit that like button as always leave a comment down below let me know about the sound and everything if you made it this far and as always make sure you subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye